All right, guys, so let's see if we can't get on some fish now. My wife actually let me come fishing today. It's like freaking amazing. I don't know what happened that she let me do this. I, she hates it when I go fishing, so I don't know. Hopefully, we get on some fish because I usually don't even catch any fish when I'm not even supposed to be out here. I don't really catch fish, but we'll see what happens today. There's so much algae on this on this spot here though like I'm gonna be kind of limited to what I can do so I'm just gonna be you know fishing under the algae which is actually my favorite way to fish especially here so we'll see what we can get going looks like somebody was out here frogging earlier well at least they tried unless that was me from yesterday I don't know I don't really see too many people out here fishing when the when the pond is covered in algae so it's probably me but whatever Freaking A, man. Stuff is just so thick, like it's, it's not just this top layer, like some places, and this algae just is freaking super thick. It's kind of difficult to fish, but we're gonna catch some fish today, guys. That's what we're gonna do. That's my goal today, to make a video. I haven't made a video in three weeks, so, well, probably about, four, by this time, it's probably been about four weeks. So I really need to get on it. To be honest with you, I'm not like really expecting the fishing to be really great because I've been fishing here. I come here like every day after work. So, um, you know, the last few days, I've only been skunked twice, um, which was yesterday and the day before. I've only been skunked here twice in like the last, I don't know, maybe two weeks. But the last two weeks that I've been here every day, I've only caught like one or two fish. So, let's see what we can get rolling here. Probably gonna do this for a little bit, toss chatterbait out for a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know, like my three main go-to baits, especially like when I'm here, is you know just like a little grub on a jig head, kind of like how I'm doing now, and a uh, chatterbait. And I like to use the white chatterbait. I always like to say these fish here are freaking racist. Like they're like Mexican fish. If they see a white freaking bait, they're gonna f they're gonna just gonna chow down on that. Starting to get a little bit nipply out here actually, and I didn't even bring a jacket. I thought about bringing a jacket, but then I was just so excited that my wife was like, yeah, you go fishing. I freaking left right away. I was like, I'm up, I'm out. <laughs> Don't tell me twice, you know? Damn. I mean, there's like seriously no way you're gonna tell me that there's like not fish just hanging out right here under this algae. I mean, if I was a fish, I'd be chilling under here because it just seems safer, you know? But you know, I don't know man, these fish are unpredictable, especially here at this spot, because man, this spot is just like stupid pressured. Mostly in the middle of the summer, it's like stupid pressured, but I mean, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well, we had one right there. Almost, I should have set the hook. We almost got one right there. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but my line started taking off. I probably should have set the hook, but usually when I'm fishing like this, like you don't really need to set the hook because, I don't know, somehow they just end up getting caught up somehow, I don't know. Let's see. Sometimes you get lucky and you just drop it in a couple couple feet from the same spot that you just missed your fish. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on. Yeah, there we go. 
There we go, guys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Getting on some fish. Uh-oh. You must have been hungry. All right, guys, there we go. We got some fish today. Got a little dinker, one pound, maybe pound and a half. Good size fish. And that's how we do it. We just drop it in and they freaking take off on it. Sometimes you can't even feel them freaking grab it. You don't even know they're on there. Sometimes you gotta wait until they take off with it. You never know. Let's get on some more fish. Oh yeah. Took my buddy over here, my buddy uh, Aaron from uh, Team Flex Rod. Uh, brought him here a couple days ago. And uh, I was like, yeah, dude, I just freaking drop a little jig head down there with a, with a little piece of a worm on it. And I catch a lot of freaking fish that way. And he's standing about, I don't know, maybe like four or five feet um, next to me. I drop my freaking jig head down there and I pull the fish out. And he had like the most awestruck look on his face. It was freaking hilarious, dude. See if we can get a little bit of help from Siri right now. See what's going on here with the, with the pressure. Hey, Siri. What's the barometric pressure right now? The barometric pressure is currently 29.9 inches of mercury. Okay, so it's a little bit lower right now than it has been. So hopefully, hopefully these fish are hungry. I'm really hoping that we can get on at least four or five fish right now. Well, that's why they call it fishing and not catching, right? Just like the flying squirrel said in our first video out there in Baltimore. That's why they call it fishing and not catching because you're fishing you don't know you, you know you're not guaranteed to catch a fish but it looks like a good spot let's get on some fish today guys let's let's get it we gonna get some fish or we gonna die trying that's gonna be my new slogan get fish or die trying There we go, there we go, yeah, there we go. Finally, dude, yes. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Hell yeah, guys, there we go. Finally, we get on some freaking fish, just what I'm looking for. Got me a good size little dinker here, I guess, but you know what, a fish is a fish. Oh, look at this, this guy is deformed. This guy is super deformed right here, look at this, this is disgusting. Anyway, guys, here we go. We got some fish. I freaking love fishing this place because, I mean, there's so many bass in here. You just, bye, dude. You just got to get on them, dude. <laughs> Caught a frog. Got a big old bullfrog, guys. Oh yeah, look at this sucker right here. Hey, you little sucker. Move your damn hand. I didn't bring my damn pliers, of course. Get up off me, fool. Somebody's laundry smells good. The perks of fishing out here in the urban pond wilderness is uh, you get to smell everybody's freaking laundry, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, not much. Trying to make a freaking video, but not having much luck. 
<laughs> What's that? Right over over here or what? Yeah. Just letting it sit, huh? What'd you do? My son and I were wrestling and he knows that if he throws all his body weight down, he can pull me down because of my back. Oh, I shit. Had a bad back. Came down over the top of him and landed on his left, his left knee. You got one. Oh yeah. time of year when that moss is like that yeah it's got a hole in the, almost the exact same spot look at oh yep that little fucker though hell yeah you mind being on the video because i'm recording right now <laughs> <laughs> dead stick in the flute very effective very, very fun. Yeah, well, that's my buddy Tim. The guy's a freaking bass catching assassin. He, he, like, never comes here and gets skunked. Like, ever. Man, that's a real trooper. Homeboy over there is over there fishing with bruised lungs, cracked ribs. That's, that's true. That's a, that is a true diehard fisherman right there, boy. We got a few more minutes. Got a few more minutes left. Hit up that algae right there, boy. See if we can't get on some mo. It's not even freaking recording, I guess, but I got this fish right here. Drop it underneath the algae. It's about a good pounder right there. I'm gonna toss that sucker back. It's because my freaking battery was dying and it stopped recording, so. All right, so anyway, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for this video, guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope you really enjoy these videos because I really enjoy making them. Um, you know, we're going to have some more content coming. I'm sorry it's been really slow lately. It's just, you know, I mean, I've been so busy. You know, life, it's, life gets pretty hectic sometimes. But, uh, you know, it's fall right now, right? So uh, pretty soon it's going to be winter. We're going to have some ice fishing videos. You guys, stay tuned. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. But anyway, that's going to be it. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed it. Anyway, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you never want to miss a video from me, make sure you hit that notification bell. And uh, yeah, and don't forget, get fish or die trying. <laughs> <laughs>